Today, I want to show you how you can perfectly align objects in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you're like me, you've probably pulled together slides before that look like this. Yeah, there is misalignment everywhere, and that is by far the surest way to make your presentation look like amateur hour. To avoid this fate, I'll show you several tips to align objects. All right, now that we're in alignment, sorry, I had to throw that one in. Let's check these out. Here I am in Microsoft PowerPoint, and we're going to start with a simple example. Here I have the beautiful logo of the Kevin Cookie Company, and I want to place this logo in the direct center of this slide. So how do we do that? Well, first off, we're gonna start out with the guidelines that PowerPoint provides. Here I'll select the image, and when I start to drag it over to the right, here you'll notice when the center of the image makes it to the horizontal center of the slide, it hesitates a little bit, or in a sense, it snaps. I also see this red line appear, letting me know that my image is now in the horizontal center. Here now, when I start dragging the image down, you'll notice this same red line appears at the bottom of my image. This lets me know that the bottom of my image is now in the vertical center of my slide. If I continue pulling the image downwards, I'll see that same red line appear when the center of my image hits the vertical center of the slide. If I continue to pull the image downwards, I'll see that same red line on the top of my image. So these help me position my image around the slide. Here I'll move it up so it sits in the exact center of the slide. If I don't like the snapping when I'm moving the image around, I can press the Alt key on my keyboard and then it will no longer snap to those guidelines provided by PowerPoint. So that gives me ultimate flexibility to position my image or object where I want it. These guidelines also appear when you're moving multiple objects. Here on the next slide, I have three objects on the slide. First, I'll take the middle object or the middle image and I'll move it to the exact center of the slide. So the same thing we did earlier. Now I'll take the image over on the left and here I'll move that down as well. Here, once again, I see the guidelines that help me arrange the shapes in relation to one another. So here I could see that both the top, the bottom, and the middle are all in alignment. Now let's say the shape was a different size. Here I could see that the top is in alignment, but the bottom's not. And here I could pull the bottom up so the bottom is in alignment. I'll return that to be the same size. Now I'll take the object or the photo over on the right-hand side, and here too, I can also align that. And as I'm aligning it, here I could see that the objects are evenly distributed. So the space between the leftmost and the center and the center and the rightmost image are all exactly the same. So once again, these guidelines can help you organize your different objects on your slide. Especially if you have a lot of objects on your slide, using those red helper lines might take a bit of time. Instead, we could also just automatically align all objects. Here on the next slide, once again, I have those three pictures again. Here I'll place the middle picture in the center of the slide, and I wanna automatically align all of the other objects with the bottom of that picture. Here I'll select all three of those objects, and then I'll go up to picture format up on the top ribbon. Within picture format, over on the far right-hand side, I have my different alignment tools. And when I click on that, I could do things like align to left, to right, to top, to bottom. At the very bottom of the selection, I could align different objects to the slide or different objects to other objects on the slide. So I'm gonna select that one first because I wanna align the two objects on the side with the one that I've already repositioned. So with that selected now, I'll select align to bottom. And here you'll see that all of the different objects automatically aligned with the bottom most item on the slide, which happened to be the one in the middle. Now, if I go back and instead I select align to slide and then I choose bottom, here you'll see that it simply aligns all of them to the bottom of the slide. So you could either go with objects or the slide itself. I also wanna make sure that there's even spacing between my images. Once again, I'll make sure that I select all of the images. 
I'll go up to the top ribbon, click on picture format, and over on the right hand side, once again, I'll click into align. Here, this time, I'm going to make sure that align to slide is selected. Then I'll click on the option that says distribute horizontally. And now there's even spacing between all of the different objects on the slide. So once again, this is an even quicker way to make sure that all of your objects are in alignment. And it works really well when you have a lot of objects. Next, I wanna take this logo of the Kevin Cookie Company and I wanna align it to the center using the picture format tools. Here I'll select all of the different objects that make up the logo. And once again, I'll go to the top ribbon, I'll click on picture format, and then I'll select align. Here, I'll first align to the center, and there the logo goes to the center, so that looks good so far. Next, I'll go back up to picture format, back into align, and this time I'll align to the middle. But when I do that, all of the different elements of my logo go to the exact middle, but now my logo doesn't really look like a logo anymore, so that's not what I wanted. How can I get around that, especially if I have some object that's composed of multiple objects? Here I'll undo that and now I'll select my logo once again. And this time under picture format, I'll go to group and I'll make this a group. And now that it's a group, I'll go back up to picture format, select align, and now I can middle align. So instead of middle aligning the individual components, instead it'll middle align the group. Lastly, I wanna show you yet another set of tools that you can use to align objects. On the top ribbon, let's click on the one titled View. And under the Show category, we have three sets of tools that we could use. We have the Ruler, we have Grid Lines, and we also have Guides. First, I'll turn on the Ruler, and we see a ruler appear on the top and on the side. Next, I'll turn on the Grid Lines. And now, in back of the slide, you see these grid lines and I can now align objects to them. So here I'll just move some shapes around and I can use the grid line to just visually see where all of them sit. Next, I'll turn on guides. And when I turn on guides, I get these two lines appearing on my slide, one vertical and one horizontal. I can move these guides wherever I want them. So here I'll move the vertical guide over to the left-hand side and I can now align my different objects to those guides and they snap to those guides. So this way I can assure that every single object lines up properly. To configure what the grid and guidelines look like, up above under the show category, in the bottom right hand corner, I can click on this settings icon. And when I click on that, I have a number of different settings related to grid and guides. All right, to see more PowerPoint tutorial videos like this one, check out the playlist up above please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.